established in the embryonic days of the Cold War, which called for control of the masses through manipulation of industry, peoples, pastimes, education, and political leanings. It called for a quiet revolution, putting brother against brother and diverting the public's attention from what is really going on. The document you are about to read is real. It is reprinted in its virgin form with diagrams as a touch of reality. Top Secret Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars Operations Research Technical Manual TM-SW7905.1 Welcome aboard. This publication marks the 25th anniversary of the Third World War called the Quiet War, being conducted using subjective biological warfare fought with silent weapons. This book contains an introductory description of this war, its strategies, and its weaponry. May 1979, number 74-1120. Security. It is patently impossible to discuss social engineering or the automation of a society, i.e. the engineering of a social automation systems, silence weapons, on a national or worldwide scale without implying extensive objectives of social control and destruction of human life, i.e. slavery and genocide. This manual is in itself an analog declaration of intent. Such a writing must be secured from public scrutiny, otherwise it might be recognized as a technically formal declaration of domestic war. Furthermore, when any person or group of persons in a position of great power and without full knowledge and consent of the public uses such knowledge and methodologies for economic conquest, it must be understood that a state of domestic warfare exists between said person or group of persons and the public. The solution of today's problems requires an approach which is ruthlessly candid, with no agonizing over religious, moral, or cultural values. You have qualified for this project because of your ability to look at human society with cold objectivity and yet analyze and discuss your observations and conclusions with others of similar intellectual capacity without the loss of discretion or humility. Such virtues are exercised in your own best interest. Do not deviate from them. Historical Introduction Silent weapon technology has evolved from operational research, a strategic and tactical methodology developed under the military management in England during World War II. The original purpose of operations research was to, to study the strategic and tactical problems of air and land defense with the objective of effective use of limited military resources against foreign enemies, i.e. logistics. It was soon recognized by those in positions of power that the same methods might be useful for totally controlling a society but better tools were necessary. Social engineering, the analysis and automation of a society, requires the correlation of great amounts of constantly changing economic information, or data, so a high-speed computerized data processing system was necessary, which could race ahead of the society and predict when society would arrive for capitulation. Relay computers were too slow, but the electronic computer invented in 1946 by J. Presper Eckert and John W. Malky filled the bill. The next breakthrough was the development of the simplex method of linear programming in 1947 by the mathematician George B. Danzig. Then in 1948, the transistor, invented by J. Bardeen, W. H. Brayton, and W. Shockley, promised great expansion of the computer field by reducing space and power requirements. With these three inventions under their direction, those in positions of power strongly suspected that it was possible for them to control the whole world with the push of a button. Immediately, the Rockefeller Foundation got in on the ground floor by making a four-year grant to Harvard College, funding the Harvard Economic Research Project for the study of the structure of the American economy. One year later, in 1949, the United States Air Force joined in. In 1952, the grant period terminated, and a high-level meeting of the elite was held to determine the next phase of social operations research. The Harvard project had been very fruitful, as is borne out by the publication of some of its results in 1953, suggesting the feasibility of economic social engineering. Studies in the Structure of the American Economy, copyright 1953 by Wazali Leontief, International Science Press, Inc., White Plains, New York. Engineered in the last half of the decade of the 1940s, the new quiet war machine stood, so to speak, in sparkling gold-plated hardware on the showroom floor by 1954. 
With the creation of the Maser in 1954, the promise of unlocking unlimited sources of fusion atomic energy from the heavy hydrogen in seawater and the consequent availability of unlimited social power was a possibility only decades away. The combination was irresistible. The quiet war was quietly declared by the international elite at a meeting held in 1954. Although the silent weapon system was nearly exposed 13 years later, the evolution of the new weapon system has never suffered any major setbacks. This volume marks the 25th anniversary of the beginning of the quiet war. Already this domestic war has had as many victories on many fronts throughout the world. Political Introduction in 1954, it was well, re well recognized by those in positions of authority that it was only a matter of time, only a few decades before the general public would be able to grasp and upset the cradle of power. For the very elements on the new silent weapon technology were as accessible for a public utopia as they were for providing a private utopia. The issue of primary concern, that of dominance, revolved around the subject of energy sciences. Energy. Energy is recognized as the key to all activity on Earth. Natural science is the study of the sources and control of natural energy, and social science, theoretically expressed as economics, is the study of the sources and control of social energy. Both are bookkeeping systems, mathematics. Therefore, mathematics is the primary energy science, and the bookkeeper can be king if the public can be kept ignorant of the methodology of the bookkeeping. All science is merely a means to an end. The means is knowledge, the end is control. Beyond this remains only one issue, who will be the beneficiary? In 1954, this was the issue of primary concern. Although the so-called moral issues were raised in view of the law of natural selection, it was agreed that a nation or world of people who will not use their intelligence are no better than animals who do not have intelligence. Such people are beasts of burden and stakes on the table by choice and consent. Consequently, in the interest of future world order, peace, and tranquility, it was decided to privately wage a quiet war against the American public with an ultimate objective of permanently shifting the natural and social energy, wealth of the undisciplined and irresponsible many into the hands of the self-disciplined, responsible, and worthy few. In order to implement this objective, it was necessary to create, secure, and apply new weapons which, as it turned out, were a class of weapons so subtle and sophisticated in their principle of operation and public appearance as to earn for themselves the name silent weapons. In conclusion, the objective of economic research as conducted by the magnates of capital, banking, and the industries of commodities or goods and services is the establishment of an economy which is totally predictable and manipulatable. In order to achieve a totally predictable economy, the low class elements of society must be brought under total control. Example, they must be housebroken, trained, and assigned a yoke, a long-term social duty from a very early age before they have an opportunity to question the proprietary of the matter. In order to achieve such conformity, the lower class family unit must be disintegrated by a process of increasing preoccupation of the parents and the establishment of government-operated daycare centers for the occupationally orphaned children. The quality of education given to the lower class must be of the poorest sort so that the mode of ignorance isolating the inferior class from the superior class is and remains incomprehensible to the inferior class. With such an initial handicap, even bright lower class individuals have little, if any, hope of extricating themselves from their assigned lot in this life. This form of slavery is essential to maintain some measure of social order, peace, and tranquility for the ruling upper class. Descriptive introduction.